Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another edition of Top 5 Best PC Game Deals of the Week. Some pretty good deals this week. Some good deals on Steam. Chrono GG has a great deal on a multiplayer game that I think should garner some interest. And we've got a couple of other deals on top of that, so let's just get right into this. Number 5, over at Gamersgate, they've got a pretty big sale going on, and Resident Evil 7 is discounted. Unfortunately, it's only 20% off, but if you guys don't know, they actually docked Resident Evil 7's retail price down, so it's not a $60 game anymore. It's a $30 game. That's the base price it always is at. But now the discounts are a little bit less, but 20% off for $24. That's still a really good price for Resident Evil 7, which is a game that's still relatively recent. It released last year in January, so it was a very early 2017 title, and it kind of got forgotten by the end of the year, but it was a really good game. Really brought Resident Evil to those survival horror elements that Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 were missing. Now, you are just going to play through the game once and probably be done with it, but it is a lengthy campaign, and and it's a great experience on PC, a very well done port on PC. Capcom usually does a pretty good job. And this is no different. I could see why you would shy away from this game at $60, but now at $24, still a little bit expensive. I am very cheap. I think a lot of you guys that also played the game would be like, come on, $24 is easily worth it for this game. But you guys know me, I'm a little cheap. If this game was $15, I would say it's an absolute must buy. But at $24, it's still a really good pickup. I mentioned yesterday that Fanatical is having a 2K game sale. They've got a bunch of games on sale and one of the best deals available has to be Borderlands 2, the Game of the Year edition for $7.59. I believe that's a new low for the Game of the Year edition. Typically during a Steam sale, it is down to $10 for the Game of the Year edition, but this is just an incredible value. If you just want sheer content for your money, it does not get much better than Borderlands 2 Game of the Year edition. You get the base game of Borderlands 2 and all the expansions, which increases the amount of content in the game by a good amount. And with Borderlands, I always personally believe there's a lot of replay value to the game because there are are a bunch of different characters, and it's fun to go through the game with all of them. Now, Borderlands is a franchise that many would associate with its cooperative play, and I've said it before, but I found Borderlands 2 a very fun game from a single-player aspect as well. I completed the game both cooperatively and single-player, and I had a blast going through the game by myself. It's just a really well-made first-person shooter, and I think it's a ton of fun even if you don't have any friends to play it with. Always sounds kind of bad whenever I say you don't have any friends to play it with. You guys get the idea. It's kind of hard to find a group to play Borderlands 2 with because it is a little bit of an older game, but if you can get a group to play it, even better, but if you play through it solo, again, it's gonna be a ton of fun. Borderlands 3 is in development right now, so you should definitely check out Borderlands 2 and see what all the hype is about for $7.59 for the Game of the Year edition. That is great. Over at Chrono GG, they have got Squad 55% off, down from $44 all the way to $20. This also includes the original soundtrack. If you guys don't know what Squad is, this game was huge around the time of its release. I never got super into it, but I definitely get why there was so much hype around the game and from all accounts it is a very good game still in early access so that should be mentioned but at this price $20 it's a 50 v 50 high fidelity combat game it's got a big emphasis on realism and it focuses on massive battles a really cool game and it's got very positive reviews on steam so if you want to take that into account there is that a little bit difficult to run it does recommend an intel core i7 gtx 970 r9 290 16 gigabytes of ram so just be aware of that fact and make sure you have the hardware capability of running the game, but a pretty good deal on it. It hasn't gotten discounted this heavily, and the deal is only available for 20 hours as of the recording of this video, so if you want it, make sure you pick it up ASAP. Finally, to round things out, we got a couple of deals on Steam. First, Chivalry Medieval Warfare is 85% off, down to $3.74. Alternatively, if you got a couple of buddies you can pick the game up with, you can get the Chivalry Medieval Warfare 4-pack. I believe it's four copies of the game for the price of three, if my math checks out. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's a pretty good deal, and there is the Chivalry complete pack which will get you chivalry deadliest warrior as well as chivalry medieval warfare chivalry medieval warfare has been one of those staples to pc gaming i remember when it released back in like 2012 a lot of gamers will draw comparisons to mountain blade i wouldn't put it at that level but it's a pretty fun multiplayer combat oriented game at the price of 25 dollars at this point i would say it's not worth it but it's so heavily discounted 85 percent off three dollars and 74 cents for a single copy and again if you can split the cost with a couple of friends that four pack is a very enticing deal and this is a game you'll want to play with a couple of friends even more so than Borderlands. This is a game that is great with a couple of buddies so definitely convince a couple of friends to try to go quarters on the four pack because that's a really solid deal for a very fun multiplayer game. Finally Steam is also running in partnership with Bandai Namco a play anime sale. They've got a lot of anime oriented games. I know a lot of these games aren't everyone's cup of tea but if you're a fan of Japanese
these games, there's a lot of great ones. All of the Tales of games are discounted. Symphonia is 75% off for $5. Zysteria is 75% off for $12.50. Berseria is at a great price, 66% off for $17. Bucks. Fantastic JRPG there. Possibly the best JRPG available on PC. You've got all of the Naruto games discounted, including Storm 4 for just $7.50. That's a great deal. Storm 4 is awesome. And possibly the sleeper deal out of all of this is .hack GU last recode, 30% off for $35. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a remastering of all three original .hack GU titles. They brought it on PC. It includes an additional fourth episode, and they all come remastered. Better visuals, better performance, all that good stuff. $35 is still kind of expensive, but with these more niche JRPGs, they take a while for them to go on sale, and it's still great value for what you're getting. Again, all three .hack GU games, they were very good JRPGs on the PlayStation 2. I played them way back in the day when they came out, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think this is a game that a lot of you guys don't even know is available available on PC, so if you're a fan of JRPGs, very at least add this one to your wish list. I want to get the word out about .hack GU last recode, maybe because I'm still holding out hope for another .hack game, and hopefully that comes to fruition at some point. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is also on sale for 17 bucks. Unfortunately, no discount on fighters that just released, so no big deal. And one final deal, a part of the sale that I want to mention is God Eater 2 Rage Burst, 75% off for $12.50. That is a great deal, and it's especially timely right now because we don't have Monster Hunter world on PC, so if you want kind of a replacement for that, God Eater is very good. No, it's not at the quality of Monster Hunter World, but if you want a Monster Hunter-like experience, God Eater definitely fits the bill. Just know it does have a more anime-style presentation, of course, with this sale being an anime sale. That is to be expected, but $12.50 for that is really good. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you pick any of these deals up. As always, all of the links will be in the description box down below, along with links for the Humble Monthly you can get right now with Dark Souls 3, $12 for that. So definitely check that out if you are interested. And if you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comments as well, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.